I never thought that I would be making this video and did not expect the situation to result in this. But things have changed and the way things are going and the problems that are popping up is that, is that if I want MGTOW and its values to be preserved and saved, and I do, especially the values of freedom and independence, I can no longer keep ignoring this or hoping things get better. It is becoming increasingly obvious that Andrew and Tristan Tate do not have the best interests of MGTOW or the Manosphere itself in mind. The writing is on the wall. This topic is going to be controversial and I think I might get hate thrown my way, but I must talk about it. For some time now, Andrew and Tristan Tate have been making horrible and stupid decision after horrible and stupid decision and have been continuously bringing his own followers and those in the Manosphere who like him to their doom and, has, and he has been leading them astray. Andrew and Tristan Tate do not care about, ma about the Manosphere or MGTOW and they are weird and make outlandish, stupid and idiotic posts that only tarnish the reputation of the Manosphere, MGTOW and... Re and the red pill. When it comes to these posts, Andrew Tate in particular made several stupid posts. Those being, one, a post that talks about being white and using your whole dick during sex. This post in particular is stupid and makes no sense and there is nothing defensible or, or explainable about it. It's just outright dumb. Two, a post that says that heterosexual sex that feels good is a... Uh, is uh, gay. That feels good is gay. Free. A post that states that men who like cooking or are excited about it are nerds. Four. A post that state a post stating that LGBTQ plus activists and people who believe that LGBTQ plus people should have equal rights are all pedophiles and demons. Five. A post stating that everyone is going to jail. And finally, 6. A post stating that people should not cook or prepare their own food. These posts are stupid and indefensible and if you do not know already why they are stupid and indefensible, I'll explain it to you right now. Andrew Tate posts... Andrew Tate's post about heterosexual sex being gay in particular is the most foolish low IQ and idiotic of them all, considering that what he essentially did was claim that having sex with women is gay. Most importantly, this whole notion of any activity, action or thought process being gay is completely wrong as the only way that someone could be gay is if they identify as being gay. Not only that, the central basis for homosexuality is that you are attracted to the person who is the same gender as you are, meaning that Andrew Tate's post about heterosexual sex being gay particularly because it supposedly feels good and is bizarre, foolish and outlandish and downright insane. When it comes to his other posts, they are less severe but still indefensible and very dumb. In particular his posts about cooking or preparing food. Andrew Tate believes that cooking or preparing your own meals is a waste of time and that if you're excited by cooking that you are you are a nerd. He also believes that you should just buy food instead of cooking it. This runs contrary to the ideas of MGTOW. MGTOW supports the, idea, the ideas of freedom and independence and also self-reliance. By that logic, being able to cook and prepare your own food, as well as cleaning up, up without having to r rely on pre-cooked food from the store, is a virtue that every man should have. I believe that being able to cook or prepare your own food is a good thing and that it further helps achieve self-reliance because you're no longer dependent on pre-cooked food or frozen food that you just warm up or something from the store because uh, sometimes you're going to have to cook your own food and knowing how to do it is, is, a, good, is a good thing. This is why Andrew Tate's post about cooking is foolish and stupid because his argument is that you should buy prepared food instead of cooking it and I believe that argument has no real merit and that it only seeks to make the manosphere and MGTOW look stupid in the eyes of the average person. As for Andrew Tate's post regarding LGBTQ plus activists and those who believe in LGBTQ plus rights, this post is particularly egregious. 
This is because Andrew Tate is essentially saying that those who wish for LGBTQ plus people, including asexual people, as asexual people are part of that community, to have the same rights as everyone else, are all pedophiles and demons. This is not only insulting, it is false and lacks any merit or proof. Wanting LGBTQ Wanting LGBTQ plus people to have the same rights as straight people, and for them to be included and welcomed, and for them to be allowed to have their own culture, is not pedophilia. Moreover, the entire claim of grooming lacks any real merit, particularly in regards to trans people, as trans people are, as trans people are only 1% of the entire global population and 1% of the population cannot effectively groom or influence the other 99% of the population, even if they wanted to, which they, which they in reality do not want. As for the post about everyone going to jail, that post is just stupid. Not everyone is having an ongoing trial in Romania in regards to human trafficking charges. Not only that, the claims made in that post are wrong. Firstly, wanting freedom and defending freedom is not a criminal offense. This is why most people are not in jail. Secondly, as I said before, this whole notion of grooming in schools and the idea that kids can be turned gay is a bad faith, turned gay or trans, is a bad faith and incorrect argument that can and has been disproven many times. And to be clear, using bad faith and incorrect arguments simply leads to the loss of credibility in the Manosphere and MGTOW in the eyes of most people as Andrew Tate is sadly seen as the face of the Manosphere. And that's not all. Since I started writing this video script, Andrew Tate has made even more stupid posts on Twitter which some may consider to be funny. But in reality, there's no comedic value to be derived from these tweets. He fervors division and weakens the case for surrogacy and adoption rights for any men and not in heterosexual relationships by spreading conspiracy theories and nonsense about gay men going after other people's kids because they can't have their own. Not only that, he recently stated, and I quote, Make homophobia great again, which clearly states Andrew Tate's agenda, and that's not to mention Tristan Tate, of which I will mention now. I do not know when the saga of ridiculous and foolish post after ridiculous and foolish post started, as I don't follow Andrew or Tristan Tate, but my involvement in this and my opposition first started on the 31st of March 2024, when Tristan Tate started to claim the transgender day of visibility is illegitimate and indirectly tried to state it's an attack on Eastern Christianity, as you can see here, because he stated that it isn't a coincidence, which is an indirect attack, which is an indirect attack on the day to delegitimize it and claim it's an attack on Eastern Christianity. However, context shows us that Transgender Day of Visibility was always on the 31st of March from 2000. Nine, even to today in 2024, and has a fixed date, meaning it does not change. Easter, on the other hand, has no fixed date and it changes every year, meaning that what happened this year with Transgender Day of Visibility and Easter sharing the same day was a mere coincidence that is not expected to happen for another 80 years, if my source is correct. Basically, this in basically an entire post was created based on something that wasn't actually happening, and now we have less credibility and respect because of it. Unfortunately, one more thing that has also happened is that because of Andrew Tate's views on transgender people and the so-called transgenderism, he has effectively decided to side with a feminist, that feminist being J.K. Rowling. Now, make no mistake, just because J.K. Rowling is against trans people does not mean she is based in the she is not a feminist. She is very much a feminist, as are all TERFs. So Andrew Tate siding with feminist individuals is very bad. It does not matter if these, feminist in, if these feminists are anti-trans or pro-trans, because feminists are bad people, and bad people make for very bad allies that may betray us in the future. What is now the case more than ever is that my interests and the and the interests of MGTOW in general do not align with Andrew Tate's views and ideology and what he is trying to build. Andrew and Tristan Tate make the Manosphere look bad, and what they support is effectively a traditional patriarchy, with the traditional systems 
still being gynocentric, still being homophobic, anti-gay, and against anyone whose sexual orientation is anything other than heterosexual, still enforcing archaic social norms that do not serve a purpose for the average MGTOW, and still supporting traditional pro-marriage and pro-relationship social norms, whereas I support the idea of our people freeing ourselves and living independently, as I value freedom and independence, and I believe that men, regardless of sexual sexuality, race, economic status, and religion are fundamentally the same people who should stick together. Given that, I do not believe that Andrew Tate cares about MGTOW or men in general. He and Tristan Tate push divisive language in the form of alpha men and beta men, thus trying to claim that one group is good and the other bad. Aside from that, he is also in favor of homophobia and transphobia, and does not accept the MGTOW values of freedom and independence and the uh, in general, supporting anything that isn't traditionalist gynocentrism. Aside from the divisive language mentioned before, Andrew Tate maintains a rather POA-esque hustlers university, which is essentially a paid course on how to supposedly be alpha, and is essentially the same uh, formula of courses and uh, essentially paid gu guides that every single other pickup artist and dating roach d does. Which which means that uh, he d does not have the same interests as I or anyone else in MGTOW have. In fact, he worsens the interests of everyone in MGTOW and does not represent MGTOW. As such, we MGTOWs need to make this very clear, and we need to call out the Tate brothers when they do something bad. And as a matter of fact, they, they will never apologize and mean exactly what they say. As they said in a tweet that... As Andrew Tate particularly said in a tweet that he will never apologize and he meant every word that he said. That tweet will be linked below. As will all others. Hmm. And essentially, and because they will not apologize or turn back from their ways, uh, they are immoral in my view. We... As such, we MGTOWs need to distance ourselves from the Tate brothers and continue forging our own path in the world and working on our noble goals, such as establishing a, a na such as establishing essentially a nation state for our people, uh, working towards securing male ri rights everywhere, making sure that feminists can't falsely accuse us and protecting those falsely accused, and other such goals which I'll mention in a future video. While the Tate brothers believe in division, we believe in unity and as such we need to continue our work of reinforcing our values, promoting unity among men and working towards building a new system that will truly help set men free and repairing relations, and repairing relations with the LGBTQ plus community and forging new alliances, which, may def which will probably actually help us defeat feminism once and for all. The influence of Andrew and Tristan Tate are not inevitable and are not permanent. We remember a time before they were influential, or at least I do, since I was taught MGTOW by Sandman and all other content creators who, who actually care about MGTOW. And I was taught the values of freedom and independence by MGTOW. And because of that, I remember a time before Andrew Tate being famous. And, and because of that, uh, ev we can... And because of that, we can help get things back on track and finally get things to go the way they should go, at least in MGTOW and the Manosphere. With all that being said, it is time I end the video. So, this has been Igor MGTOW and Video Games. Like and subscribe and click the bell notifications on YouTube if you enjoyed the video. And follow me on odyssey.com, MGTOW.tv and Twitter. And join my Gilded server and bye-bye. Thanks for watching.